Hey Wastelanders, this is Gary, and since uh, being sick for like about a month, uh, I was like, I think the month of December, I was not into making videos at all because I was mostly sick with the, the coronavirus, so um, that was my third sickness, <laughs> by the way, of the coronavirus, so... At least I didn't have to go to the hospital, but I felt like shit. So anyway, since then, I just uh, was all out of the idea of making videos. But um, since uh, maybe the middle of January, I think the, the 19th, when I hit my birthday on January 19th, I just got the urge to make videos all the time. And sometimes I, I do, I will sit down and write out the reviews and research the knife and try to I, mean, I give you specs and I'm probably going to give you specs on this knife this is the off-grid knives came Cayman EDC I think that's how it's pronounced Cayman I think this is a uh, named after a, a crocodile if you, you can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong so um Believe it or not, guys, I carry this knife a lot. This knife was uh, gifted from the Shredder Knife Reviews. Um, and uh, for work I did on um, maybe an upcoming logo. I did a, I'll show you the logo there. Um, I, I, I enjoyed making this logo too because it was very fun. His uh, son, Shredder, posted a uh, pose for a bunch of pictures that he took and sent to me he just wanted a silhouette of his son holding two big knives and um, he he sent me all kinds of angles and the angle that I'm showing you now it worked out to the best so I, I really look I think it looks a, a you know I don't I don't get overly excited about my work because I'm not very good, but I think, I think his, uh, this, uh, this logo just thrilled me because I liked how it gave me a, a feeling of outdoorsman. So there's a outdoorsy feel in the background. I don't know if you can see it, but I just like the pose too. But anyway, <laughs> enough of that. Um, he hasn't used the logo by the yet, by the way. So I, I'm, I, I don't want to rain on his, I don't want to rain on his celebration if he ever uses it. So anyway, for that uh, logo, I got this gift um, knife as a gift. Anyway, so I get this, I got this knife, um, the Off Grid Cayman. Um, I think it's the Off Grid Cayman EDC. That's the, the whole name. So, and I really, I, ca I carried it a lot. And I remember I did, I don't think I've ever done a review. Of it. I, I didn't tell you how I liked it. I, I think I introduced, I did an unboxing. Right. I never talked about it. So it's on my desk and I view, if you look at my desk, there's knives. And I used to have a whole pile of knives, maybe 50 knives there. I've since been clearing them off. But I have, in this wooden box, I probably have 12, 12 knives that I carry every day, or, or I have a selection of knives that I carry every day. Um, there's knives up there I carry every day too. So um, I just want to access to, and I have a drawer full of knives like that I reach in and carry. So this knife has not quite made it back to a position in my knife case because I carry it from time to time, maybe every other day or I haven't carried it this week or last week or maybe the week before that. And this sort of replaced this um, because I, I view it as a, it's a, about the same size of it. It has it it's just a, a really nice size knife to carry on a daily basis it has a robust 
not <laughs> robust blade sorry my hand jumped <laughs> robust blade and uh yeah i just like carrying it but um yeah it this knife knocked it kind of off the rotation but i'm still got not going to put it away because I, I i really like this knife and i'm i i'm very excited about this knife so much the black stallion you can see it oh you'll see the name in the picture but I'm going off memory. It was called the Black Stallion. And it's a, a sweet Warncliffe blade. And it looks about the same size as this knife. And But it has a hexagon. I believe it has a hexagon shaped handle. I don't know if it's a G10 or a polymer. I don't remember. But I just see. I just was blinded by the blade. And I, ha I had to have it. So this this is my neck. Th that will be my next knife. And... Um, I use the Shredder 10. I, I bought the knife straight from Off Grid, but for some reason I, I, I wouldn't uh, check on Amazon. And the Amazon had it for $79 and Off Grid had it for $89, but they were both free shipping and everything. So the, the Shredder 10 doesn't work out on Amazon, unfortunately. So I used it on F Grid, Off Grid, and I got it to down basically to the $80 mark or $80 and some change. And uh, I don't mind that. I mean, with free shipping, no taxes. I mean, I believe they they didn't charge me any taxes. And they they give a, the 10% discount courtesy, courtesy of Shredder. So I don't have uh, any problem buying it to uh, buy it through the manufacturer. Um, I was going to say, yeah, it was two day free shipping. So it's, it's probably expedited, maybe priority. I don't know, but it's supposedly going to be here by Wednesday or Thursday. And that's fantastic. So I'll, I think I've, if I get en enough knives, maybe two or three knives, uh, I'll do a live on the weekend or during the week. I don't whenever they get there so but let's uh give you some specs on this knife and i mean if you want to compare it size compare it like check this out this this is the blades bigger than this but basically that the handle and everything is just about the same it's not a the same blade shape but you know this is a clip point so anyway Um, I brought out some uh, more knives. This is this inspired. I basically that's a clip point, and it inspired me to put it now down next to the. I think this is called the Sun Cut episode. The episode is a little bit bigger knife. You, you have a bigger handle, but it's it's very similar in blade shape. And last but not least. Excuse me. I have the bug out so you can compare the bug out in size. So it's a pretty uh, beefy knife. I, you know, I didn't write out my review though, so I will make mistakes. You can call me out on them. Anyway, this is a beefy knife and uh, it just feels good in hand. It feels just like a, a knife, like, um, it reminds me of what a knife I gave away, the Hades by Damn Designs. The blade shape is sort of reminding me of this, but I think, I find this blade shape a lot more appealing than the Hades. Sorry, everybody that got the Hades or, or the Hades free from me. I still, I just dig this knife a little bit better than the Hades. Yeah, so... Let's uh well let's uh measure it. The knife basically measures seven and a half. I'll, I'll look off camera. Seven and a half inches, where the blade is. <laughs> the cutting edge is about three and a quarter inches. The the overall knife is about three and a three eighths inches or blades three and three eighths inches. So the handle is. 
maybe four and a quarter inches so and I'm just gonna give you like a, a dimension on the handle thickness the handle thickness is 0 0.5 0 0.50 almost 0.51 uh, the blade thickness is 0 0.12 one one three sorry um that's uh th three and three three 3.39 millimeters so don't jump <laughs> sometimes my skill says it jumps 4.8 ounces it's it's not as it doesn't feel as heavy as it that measurement tells you but I guess it's heavy, but I really don't notice it in my pocket as being heavy. I just, I love to carry it. Maybe, maybe five ounces is my hidden, I don't care. You know, I don't know if anything over five ounces, maybe I would notice it. But I really don't notice it when I carry it. And it's, a, it's good to have a substantial feeling knife. You know, it, it just lends to some... Uh, security in your your mind you know but anyway I'm just if you guys want to know about this knife I'll probably do a review when I put it through some use I, I, I admit I've cut like very little with it and you could you could tell on the blade I'm I, I haven't abused it at all so maybe I'll uh, later down the road when I finally get outdoors with it I'll just try to abuse it a little just to see what it can take I like it enough you know you you see the deep carry pocket clip and the screws and well I mean it has a spot so you can bury it in the, the handle and the screws are flush I mean it's a very decent knife um, let's show you how it looks in the pocket you know, <laughs> I'm not going to show you how it looks in, in my real pocket, but yeah. And I, I think it, it showed that it was kind of hard to get in the pocket. It's not. It's It goes smoothly in the pocket with for me. I wear BDUs and I have no problem inserting it in the pocket. So I find that that room is enough for my pockets. So yeah I, I like it because it's all murdered out it's all murdered out it just murdered out appeals to me nice pocket clip i know it's uh stamped out and uh everything but it's very it, it will it looks better than any cvv pocket clip until they start doing milled clips i'm going to say down bad evil CVV pocket clips. I, I hate CVV pocket clips. This this rides sm so close to the handle. There's no chance that you would feel the pocket clip in hand. So very nice, very nice design. Okay, I'm going to wrap up this review, guys, and the rest of this review, the hidden at the end, will be for mostly my wastelanders and one gentleman called budgeteer blades jared i i'm going to talk to you in this video so take care wastelanders okay i'm back now that the rest of these uh guys are gone let's talk to the wastelanders pretend to that only your your guys are here so so I I I know I talked about or I I bought this even grow knife and by way of the math section this is how even grow knives usually come so maybe they got a new box design with that cleaver that you were um, talking about and nothing just like a clear bag sometimes not a clear bag and just a box anyway so I was going to I told you guys I was going to 
um, customized this knife. And I, I found it on my table in the background and I'm like, oh man, I never got around to that. So I still planned to customize this or mod it. I'm, I'm not a customizer. I'm just more of a um, modder, experimenter. <laughs> So I, I remember, I don't know if I remember telling you guys, look at that crown spine. I love crown spines. I mean, on a cheap knife, it still is really kind of cool. So I don't, I don't remember what that, I think it, oh, this is the EF945. So, so I still plan to mod this and when I mod it, uh, I'm going to do it as a giveaway for members only because I'm more leaning towards you guys, uh, award, uh, rewarding you guys for giving me $4.99 a month just to do reviews, just to do craziness. So I'm going to, I will mod this and I'll probably give it away to you guys. So, and a uh, little simple drawing of the, the bowl. And I know I've talked about this and I show you, I, I, I believe I showed you the mods or um, but I still have never, I still have never replaced these two black screws and I, I, I still plan to. The only thing I want to do is replace these two black screws and, um, I think if you guys think so too, I want to strip this, uh, bronzing off and I want to soak it in acid and then I want to stone wash it because I, I don't like how this bronzing turn bronzing turned out as opposed to all the the hardware and stuff but if you guys want it because I'm still going to give it away to you one of you guys uh, I'll leave it and I'll just replace these two screws with a uh, some bronze bronze versions because these two screws are kind of nasty and they're like black and they were just in there for temporary because I threw the screws down the drain by accident <laughs> and I couldn't get them. So uh, I'll, re I'll eventually replace these two screws and maybe bronze or not br bronze, re uh, stone wash and acid wash this clip and then just do a giveaway on uh, my alive. So I'm. I'm going to leave this uh, blade sharpening. I, I probably didn't do a, a really good job. And I hope that uh, the person that wins it can um, do a sharpening. You can see the LR in there. <laughs> so hopefully uh, this will be a good enough prize for someone. Oh, let's try to close it with one finger. Oh. Sometimes I could close it like you can. Uh, yeah, but this is a double detent knife. It's not locking. So if you don't, if you remember or you don't remember. So, so this is going to be a possible giveaway. Well, I mean, it's going to be a giveaway on my live eventually when I finish it. Um, this is going to be a giveaway on my live and Let me know, I, Jared, I think you were talking about you like this knife, maybe? I, I don't remember, but if you really like this knife, I haven't done a review on the episode. I, I, I don't particularly like it that much, but uh, I mean, it, I just don't, I, I don't know what it is, but I don't find it like really cool, but I, I, I planned on modding this Senkut episode and uh, I'd given it away to you guys, but I kind of thought that maybe Jared really liked that, and he like re he requested it, maybe selling it to him, or I, I will give it to you. But if you want it, and you want it, me to mod it, you, you just tell me the mods that you want to do to it, if I can do them, and uh, I'll send it to you, and you can sharpen it, and then it's yours. Um, I, I really, I think you're uh, a way better sharpener than me. I, I, I really, I don't like sharpening. I like it. 
I like the knife once it's sharpened, but I, I don't I don't like to sharpen it. I, I just I, I'm not like a patient enough to sharpen it. So just let me know if you want some special blend it handle or or just a solid handle you want the hardware bronze and you want the acid stone wash effect i think this has already got a something going on like a stone washed semi stone washed uh, look but if you want it darkened and then stone wash i can do it and if you want some pattern on the blade that i can do i'll, I'll do that too so just let me know and if you didn't uh you didn't risk crush this knife uh jared i'm sorry to put you on the spot so yeah so that's all so take care wastelanders